back again with another one. Another one, another one. Welcome to my world. Welcome to my world. It's Big Vic TV. Welcome to my world. It's my world. Give me a thumbs up just for this intro. What's up guys, Big Vic here. What I want to do really quickly is show you guys a concept called the circle of focus. And basically, it's a concept that if you're not able to focus, this shows you pretty much where a majority, you get to kind of see where you spend most of your time at, where you're being non-productive versus where you could possibly be more productive. So I'm gonna break this down for you really quickly. It's a very, very simple concept, but super, super powerful. So check it out. The uh, reason why I'm doing this video is because when I put my survey out there, uh, a lot of guys, some of you guys, a few of you guys on here on this channel uh, that are not already in my group said that focus was really a major issue for you guys. So let's break down this concept. Uh, I learned this concept from uh, Tony Robbins and also one of my mentors, Dan Henry. So let's check it out. Let me break down the circle for you. So what you, what you can do is draw a circle. Draw a pretty big circle here. We got a decent sized circle here. So now I want you to think about the things that you do in your business. So if you have a production company or if you have a media company, I want you to think about some of the things that you do with your time in regards to building up that business, right? So let's say, let's say, let's draw your media, let's draw your media company. Let's put your media company, media company in here. So this can be your media company or your production company. Right? So that's your media company. Let's also say one of the things that you do is, let's say you do Facebook, right? So let's put, let's put Facebook in here. All right, so let's make a split up in here. Let's say you also do Instagram. Let's put IG right here. Uh, most of you guys, you know, on YouTube a lot, right? So let's put YouTube in here. All right. Now, here's the deal. If you're trying to build your media company, right? Let's say your goal is to build your media company. So where's the majority of your time going? Are you spending time here on Facebook? Are you spending time here on YouTube, just watching tutorials or, you know, just watching other videos? Are you scrolling on Instagram? Right? So, majority of your focus is kind of spread all over the place like a pizza. You know what I'm saying? So, your focus is sliced up. So, how can you possibly build your media company here? when you're spending a lot of time here, here, and here. It's gonna be virtually impossible to really focus on building that media company if you're all over the place in these different areas. Now, unless you have someone that's that you have delegated to tasks such as running uh, Facebook ads for you, running YouTube ads for you, or someone running IG ads for you, for your media company, then your focus should be here on the media company. All of your focus should be right here on the media company. It's gonna be, it's, it's, it's literally virtually impossible to build something sustainable, to build something huge, if you're spending a lot of time over here on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and not focusing your time on your media company. Now, some of you guys may possibly have another slice in your pie right here. You may be over here 
on Twitter. See, my thing, here's my, here, here's my thing. If it's not conducive to me growing or building my business, I'm not going to give it a lot of my time. So the reason I've been able to build up my media company is because there was a point in time where I laid off of YouTube, Facebook, the Twittering, and the Instagrams. This was even before Instagram was really popping or whatever. I was already focused, dead focused on building up my media company, learning SEO, search engine optimization, so that I could get my media company to where I needed it to be, ranked in those search engines, to where now it's there, I'm getting the business, I can now focus on doing things such as Facebook ads, or running IG ads, or running YouTube ads, or creating courses, you know what I'm saying? Or kind of delegating and being able to do some other things or producing more content on my YouTube channel. So it, it was very difficult for me at one time to try to focus on all of these different platforms and build up my company. It was virtually impossible for me to do it. And I was wondering, wondering why I wasn't really getting anywhere is because most of my time was being spread out all over the place trying to be everywhere at one time. <laughs> and that's called the circle of focus. So if you really pay attention to what's going on in your circle of focus, you'll see where you need to spend the majority of your time at and where a lot of your time is being spread out. Let me grab this to where you need to basically back up off the IGs, back up off the YouTubes, back up off the Twitters and the Facebooks if it's not growing your business. So people that are highly, highly successful, they focused on that one thing. They focused in that one area until they got great in that one area. Then they moved on and were, was able to do other things. Let me give you an example. I'm going to read a quick example to you really quickly. I'm going to read this example for you. It's something called repetitive discipline. Let's take Michael Jordan for an example. Well, let's talk about his discipline first. So let's talk about Mike's discipline. Rarely ever took a day off. During the off season, he woke up at 5 a.m. Five days a week and practiced five hours. During the summer, he did two practice sessions a day, six days a week shooting at least 500 jump shots in each practice. That's a thousand jump shots a day. That's more than 6,000 practice shots each week. That's 24,000 jump shots a month. What was his result? Here's, here's, here was his results from doing that repetitive discipline. Six-time NBA champion, six-time NBA finals MVP, holds the NBA records for highest career regular season scoring average, 30.12 points per game. Those are the type of results that you'll be able to get when you do repetitive focus in that one area, on that one thing. Please do not take light of this information right here. It's free. I'm giving it away to you free if you hadn't already known that or if you'd known it, but you didn't never, you didn't never, you never took action on it. So be aware of what's going on in your circle of focus. Be aware of it. I just wanted to drop this for you guys really quickly. If you enjoyed this, I am going to be sharing more information just like this inside of my group, SEO Rockstar Academy. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you haven't already filled out the survey, and came over to knock on the door to jump in the group, you still have an opportunity to do it. Come check us out. Come rock with me. It's your man, Big Vic. Always hustle. Never stop growing. And I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.